2003, Game 6 of the National League Championship Series, Wrigley Field, Chicago. The Cubs have a 3-2 series lead. It's very simple. If they win Game 6, the Cubs go to the World Series. By the time the seventh inning stretch occurred, the Cubs had compiled a 2-0 lead. As Bernie Mac sang, take me out to the ball game, replacing the word Cubbies with the word champs in absolute confidence that the Cubs would win. This would later prove to be an omen. In the bottom of the seventh inning, the Cubs score another run to take a 3-0 lead going into the eighth. Seventh inning, Wesselanik, a floater into center field and a fall to hit. They will wave around Baco, 3-0 Chicago. A fly ball to left field at the top of the eighth inning leaves the Cubs only five outs away from going to the World Series. Another high fly ball is hit to shallow left field and begins to drift ever so slightly towards the fans. Cubs left fielder Moises Alou drifts to the wall with a direct line on the fly ball. As he jumps in the air to catch the ball, Cubs fan Steve Bartman, excited about the prospect of catching a foul ball, lunges for the ball as well, placing his hands above the glove of Alou, inadvertently taking away an out for the Cubs. Alou erupts as the crowd responds to Bartman with disgust, as did Cubs ace pitcher Mark Pryor, causing security to escort Bartman out of Wrigley Field due to threats of physical violence. The Marlins, now with new life, respond with a series of hits and a walk, driving in a run. But still, with a 3-1 lead and a runner on first, if the Cubs can turn a double play, they will have survived the inning. And for a split second, Luck appeared to smile at the Cubs as a slow bouncing ground ball was hit to Alex Gonzalez, who was statistically speaking, the best fielding shortstop in all of Major League Baseball. This was it. In a matter of seconds, Alex would turn a double play and this nightmare of an inning would be over. Fans took a deep breath, ready to explode with excitement as the slow bouncing ground ball made its way towards the sure-handed Gonzalez. And then the unthinkable occurred. He dropped the ball. had ended, the Marlins had driven in eight runs, forcing a game seven, which the Cubs lost. And this crowd stunned in disbelief. Wheels go off. We're gonna kill you. Put a 12 gauge in his mouth and pull the trigger. To those uneducated on the history of the Chicago Cubs, this was merely something that happens in baseball. But to Cubs fans like myself, this was no accident. No, this was not something that just happens. This was the curse of that mother f Billy Goat. <laughs> Don't believe in curses? You may change your mind after watching the curse of Billy.